Hi Pisces, how are you? This is your reading for the 27th till the 2nd of August and I hope you're well and safe. My lovely Cyber Angels, thank you for returning and being so loyal in supporting the channel. It's awesome. I really appreciate it. And welcome to the new people and I hope you will enjoy the readings as well and you you must know that I if you you must know this as well that I do go live every mo Monday Wednesday and Friday and pl the live sessions are called the tea room and all the cyber angels that is the the, the followers and the viewers and I, if you would like to become a cyber angel then please join us I do give away free cards and I do answer questions that are supported with a super chat or a super sticker if you would like to have an extensive reading I do those as well then just um, look below this video in the description box or in the top right hand corner of the screen and that will take you to the website there you can find all the different kinds of readings there is a new reading up and that is called the crystal ball reading so if you would like to have a crystal ball reading then get in touch send me an email okay <coughs> and I'll see you in the life and please subscribe and click on the bell on all then you'll be notified you can also follow me on Instagram and on Facebook uh, there is a new group. I've just started a new group on my Facebook page, and that's called Charlie's Angel Crowd. And that's a private group. Anyway, I won't go into, I won't make the introduction too long, but I hope you enjoy it. And remember, this is a general reading, so if it doesn't resonate with you, then have a look at your moon sign or your rising sign. And please share and like the video thank you then I know you um, have seen it okay this is the queer and card or the overall energy Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday and the clarification cards that can be used um, vice versa the tarot can clarify the uh, clarification card or the clarification card can clarify the three tarot cards around it I'm also using the reading angel deck and Archangel Metatron our beautiful Archangel Metatron that helps to clear our chakras with the white light so let's get started the first card that you have Pisces is your card the moon so you are quite um, um, it's quite pr predominant and important that uh, your sign card, the card of your sign has come up so I think you will be in the right mood or the right energy you're powerful at this moment perhaps that's because we've just gone into Leo and that is the moon of um, Leo okay now the moon also means very spiritual and I know Pisces that you are a very spiritual person if you are not a psychic or a medium you could be interested in the spirit you you definitely uh, hopefully follow and listen to your intuition and your feelings and your emotions you are a very sensitive person um, but the moon also means and there is a, um, a dark side to everything and everybody we can't do without the light or the dark so perhaps you might be feeling a little bit down dark right so don't worry come out of your little shell you know look at the lobster so come out of your shell um, although the moon represents Pisces I always say don't exclude cancer or Scorpio there are things that you don't know so you might have to f uh, do some more research with regarding to a situation or an issue but you could also be meeting a Pisces if you're not hooked up okay now if you're a cross watcher then perhaps your partner is a, a Pisces then take heed because they are sensitive people so be careful how you treat them okay 
Now, I'm sorry I'm saying okay all the time, sometimes it's a habit. You see the two trees here. That is the the white pillar and the black pillar, usually in the traditional tarot. That is the number 11. This looks to me like number 11. The angels are giving you a porthole to a new beginning. You're on the right track to your northern, your northern note. That is your goal, your wish. That is where your path is leading you to. So you're on the yellow brick road, because this deck also reminds me of films, like this is the um, Wizard of Oz, the road, the yellow brick road, or the roads are paved in gold. So you are on the right track. Awesome. But be careful, listen to your intuition and your feelings because you have the mask of a wolf. There could be somebody around you, Pisces, wearing a mask, not being true or honest to you. So be forewarned. If your uh, intuition or your guts are saying, this is not, or this person is not what he seems to be, or she, then heed the warning. You are in the spotlight, okay? The moon, the star, and the sun are the cards that are spotlights. So you are in the spotlight. So there could be an other Pisces or an other water sign that is interested in you. So heed the warning, get more information before you take uh, the step off the path. Don't let yourself be tempted to leave your goal try to compromise if need be. You've got number 18, so that's a number 9, that's an ending, a new beginning is just around the corner. And talking about a new beginning, on Monday we start with the Ace of Pentacles. You are holding the world in your hand. Well, in this, in the card you're holding a crystal ball. But to me that says you are in charge of your own desires, your own world. You can keep a small world or you can go out into the world and make it bigger. Make more friends, perhaps with a, a Taurus, a Virgo or a Capricorn. Whoa, nice one. So you are the one that always takes the desire, uh, decisions and choices. And you could be meeting, uh, if you're not hooked up, you could be meeting with an earth sign. But this could also mean that you might be, um, this could be the road to your new home. So you might have just bought a new home. Because um, earth's, earth uh, cards, um, pentacle cards, are, represent durability and long term. And they are slow but steady. And they've got, they're, they're grounded, okay? like Taurus. He stands there with four feet on the ground. So this could be a house, this could be an investment, this could be a new love, this could be a new job uh, for long term. Awesome, beautiful, a new start and it's confirming the moon. This is the overall energy. When I read for somebody, that is my querent card. And, well, this is also my querent card, but I can use it also as the overall energy. You are, you might be taking a, a page out of the Queen of Wands book, and you're going for what you want, right? Or you could be meeting the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Wands is Leo. It doesn't have to be a woman, it can be a man with a, a the more of a feminine side, like the Queen of Wands, determined, independent, sure of herself, and knows what she wants, and she's going to go for it. Doesn't matter what. She is stable. Look, she's holding on to her staff, showing, I'm grounded, I'm standing up straight, and I'm sure of myself. And she also is like a feline, a cat. She is quiet. She doesn't say everything. She doesn't show everything unless she wants to. And it's like a cat, quiet, and walks very quietly and then bounces on her goal. Wow. She can be a very forceful lady and because she is determined in 
what she wants to get. Okay. Now these cards, every card really, um, and here you've got the sunflower. <laughs> okay. So she is, that represents the fire sign. Okay. I sometimes have decks for years and years and years and I just see new things in my decks when I get them out of the cupboard after a while it gives you also a, gives me also a new perspective and again uh, it just they're getting tattered because I'm using them so much I just love these cards they're the Shadowlands and then on Friday you could be meeting the Queen of Swords this could be a Libra okay a Libra but don't exclude Aquarius or Gemini she always this is the air sign and the air signs are swift they're thinkers they're communicators and they believe in fairness and justice so you could be meeting a lady um, that is seeking knowledge and the truth perhaps you are determined to get the truth and you you are getting help from a queen of wands and the queen of swords perhaps you might want to st uh, start a new study and to gain knowledge and um, specialize something to do with the law perhaps or an institution these are two very strong ladies they're more career orientated than I would say the uh, water signs or the earth signs although Pisces I've known a lot of Pisces especially women they are really shrewd as business women I have they're really powerful more so than the men um, in my experience okay um, but they use they use their feelings and they they are just like the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Air because we're m m made out of more planets and 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 signs um, not just one sign you could be Pisces air rising or moon sign air or fire so you know it is quite you can be a very strong person Pisces and a very good businesswoman you're shrewd that is definitely what I think and see and feel and have experienced so you might be more fiery but you might be more um, um, uh, think more of a thinker and you, yeah communication you might have a job that needs communication m more communication than action but uh, like I said we are in fire now so you might be more fiery more passionate because you are um, um, you are a water sign which stand for passion and love so you might have more passion Ooh, okay you might have more action in your job you might be really really busy you might be seeking more information for your business um, on Friday as to how you can improve your business how you can communicate better how to get more clients interested uh, to come to your business whether it's a shop or in an advisory job or anything like that because the air signs do stand for institutions and municipalities and of course we know that a social worker needs to communicate and works in the healthcare so there you go that could be your job or an advocate or a lawyer or a banker anything to do with the head uh, or you might be a presenter of some kind uh, perhaps a, a, a presenter on YouTube or on reading the news on TV or doing the weather so that is the communicating jobs but it doesn't have to be stardom it can also be a teacher passing on their knowledge so if you're a young one then you might meet or go and seek advice from your teacher or your mother or an aunt 
or you can just make new friends from either signs. At the weekend though, you've got a beautiful card as well. You definitely have victory and recognition. This could be from your mother or a, a fire, the queen of fire, a Leo or um, a Libra. You could get recognition from your teacher and you've got top grades. Well done. I'm reading for 18 and older. Okay. Um, uh, and that is for who I'm reading. You might start a new study even and because you've got good grades and your teacher has helped you to gain the knowledge and to push you on and to motivate you to get to that position of a champion. You are moving onwards and upwards even if you're not a, a, a late teenager you could be 30, 40 or older then you might even start a new study okay because the times um, move on and everything gets modernized and updated and I, I've been there as well that you've been in a job for five years and you need to start doing a study to upgrade your knowledge to update it and that will bring you back um, bring you more money in that could be the issue as well uh, or the situation that you are holding shall I or shan't I shall I or shan't I you will be making that decision that will bring in more money so you might do a workshop or improve and enhance your your career by either updating it or um, specializing because we do have two major arcana characters here and they specialize in communicating in communication or services in uh, uh, also the practical side the active side so it all depends um, what um, it, this could how this could apply and resonate to you but it will bring you recognition and success but it does take a little bit of work from you it just doesn't happen by itself now we've got the cross here which is represented by the bridge okay bringing two sides together the new and the old for instance okay or the feminine and the masculine like I said uh, you could be meeting a man but with a feminine side to it a, ten, a more tender side than usual okay 36 is uh, a 3 and a 6 is 9 something is coming to an end and there is a new beginning again the 6 of ones boom 6-6 six, six, okay the 6 of uh, clover is the six of ones so again you have you have victory you're the champion you've got recognition big time from the in uh, from the community and perhaps from your employer or your teacher like I said perhaps you're moving on to a, a higher level of study like I said this could be because of the ace of Pentacles you want more money you want a raise you want promotion so you want to climb up the ladder and be the champion awesome beautiful like I said you're following your path to your northern note and be careful of jealous people or people that aren't themselves they're not showing their true selves you might seek sorry about that <laughs> you've got the lily here and that means you might be seeking advice from a mature man this could be a father figure or a professional this is the king of um, spades and that's the king of air the king of air is a Gemini so you've got the Gemini here and the Queen so you might be coupling up as well there is a couple in your reading <coughs> okay the Queen and the King of Air so you might be coupling up this could be with an air sign since the air signs are the couple 
<coughs> Excuse me. This is number 30, and that becomes a 3. That means creativity. Okay? The, the air signs can be, especially Gemini, can be very creative. They are always doing more things than one, the Geminis. They'll be drinking coffee, ironing the clothes, and having the radio on or the television, and the kids are playing outside. They're always doing several things at the same time. You'll have luck in business, though, or luck at work. You might be even partnering up um, in work if you have your own business. So you might need or seek uh, legal advice to draw up contract um, uh, for the partnership. This could also be a marriage, okay? Um, not marriage, but coming together, a, a, a contract uh, not only for business but also in love, for partnering up. Okay, you might be moving in with an air sign. Wow! Because this card, the Six of Wands, means moving home as well. And that's the same with the bridge, okay? So, you are walking the p your chosen path. Good. You're getting clarity. You're, find you're doing more research. And you're listening to your intuition. And it will bring you positive results. Okay. Then we have the mountains. And that's the Eight of um, uh, Clover. So that's the Eight of Wands. You will receive news. And things will not just happen slowly and steadily. No, the things will fly. It won't rain, it will pour. Lots of things are happening. Like I said at the beginning, we are in an active month, a very fast moving uh, energy, the Leo. Um, that is the Leo sign. So the, the, the fire sign. So things will be happening swiftly. And eight is also, um, the powerhouse and the money house, okay? And you've got 21, which is 3 again, so you've got 3, 3. So make sure that if you see 3, 3, then the angels are letting you know um, and that, that they are sending you a sign. Now the Linamon is the mountains. There's more ways to roam, that is what I'm hearing. You don't have to climb the mountain, you can walk the path. So take your time if you have time. But things are happening rapidly. Now, you could be going on a trip. This could also be a business trip. And the mountains to me also means, for me anyway, don't make mountains out of molehills or don't make an elephant out of a fly. Okay, don't make more of an issue when there isn't an issue. Don't look for problems <laughs> where there aren't any problems. She certainly is not deterred. She will go for what she wants and she will push aside or fight um, anything that is in her way. And she, she will cut it straight through. She will go straight into the core and find out where the problem is. They, these two ladies, they don't take BS from anything or anyone. Okay. They are definitely very strong ladies. Although they have a nurturing and a caring side. But they are active ladies. So don't sit down behind the geraniums and get depressed and bored and create problems. No. Get action. Get going. Get the information. So that you know who is wearing a mask and who is true and honest. And so that you can form partnerships. Wow. This is a strong reading. Okay. The last card that we have is the Nine of Rods. The Nine of Clover. And that means there is an ending. 
And where there is an ending, there is a new beginning. And here we've got again somebody, the fox, wearing a mask. This is the fox. So be aware of sly, mean, analytical people. Well, being analytical doesn't have to be nasty. It's just um, people, some people pre-calculate so they get the results for what they want. They want to get all the information before they take action, like the fox. The fox, like the feline, he will wait and sit and watch and then jump on his prey. So, what I'm hearing here is bide your time for the right moment. Now, that must apply to somebody. Abide your time for the right moment. Now, we've got the fox here, so somebody might be wearing a mask because he's sly or mean, right? And I can sit here talking about the fox until the cows come home, um, but that doesn't help you. But I'm just saying, be aware, listen to your intuition. There could be somebody that's jealous of you, that is um, doing something behind your back, all right? So don't trust everybody. Don't trust everybody. Listen to your intuition, definitely. If you feel uncomfortable, then those are the red flags, either your ideas or your feelings in action. Don't let, don't be a pushover. That is also what I'm hearing. Don't be pushed over by forceful people, people that are strong. You are s as strong as they are, but you're strong in a different way because we're all individual. Like I said, we are made out of more planets and more uh, signs than just one. So watch your rising sign or your moon sign if this does not resonate. Remember, a fox sheds his fur but not its tricks. You can learn him a new trick but he will never lose the basics, his basic character. Number 14 is 5 which is unbalanced, not in balance. So stay in balance, stay focused on your north note because it will bring you in victory and long-term returns so long you listen to your intuition now the angel card is 28 so that's a 10 an ending and a new beginning and the angel of fertility now here you've got the baby it doesn't really have to be a baby it can also be a project and here two again partners and we've got the partner here. So you might be finding out you're pregnant. You might be finding out um, somebody, or you might be hearing uh, of a new birth. This could be of a project, a new job, like I said, a new house. Okay, a new friendship. So meditate on what you wish because the new arrival will be here. It doesn't have to be a baby, it can also be an extension. This is just the angel um, of fertility. Fertility means it is a time that something new can materialize. The ground is fertile for love. The ground is fertile or the time is fertile for getting pregnant. And we've got a baby again. Gosh, here you are. So this might be a message for one or two people because I'm reading for thousands of people. But for overall, remember, there are new beginnings because you've got a nine here and you've got um, a nine here. You've got a nine here. So nine, also watch out for the 999. Okay, watch out for the figure 9. Now, this is number 40. So number 40 becomes a 4, stability. 
evolution evolution so evolution is opening up going higher forwards birthing the new beautiful card and I love it it's got a heart in it we all love babies and new beginnings and again the man and the woman sign here like the man and the woman walking along the beach isn't that beautiful and you've got a whitish angel she could be Archangel depicting Archangel Metatron beautiful I really really love this reading and again water water your element this is so magical and the baby lies in water as well awesome I tell you I can carry on and on and on and on but I'm not going to do that if you would like to have an extensive reading or a private reading then please contact me and I'll be happy and honored to do it for you so take care and be safe stay safe keep your distance but be together if you know what I mean be there if you can help somebody but keep your distance show people that you love them by giving them a phone call or anything like that okay thank you very much please like and share and I'll see you in the life if not in the next video ciao ciao thank you for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it and remember have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life Monday Wednesday or Friday ciao ciao